Thank you for letting me uh, bring in my friend. I do have a three part <laughs> Sorry TED for question. Imposing. A three part TED question. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so I he, he, we let your get... future husband ask his TED questions. Well, one <laughs> was a prequel always part of the plan. Two, why a prequel and not a third movie? Do you want me and to answer one, one by one or you want to Well, I'll just list them all and then we can go down the line. Okay. And three, <laughs> why a TV series and not a movie? It's a really good style. Um, you know, in all <laughs> honesty, I, I signed a, a, a deal with Universal <laughs> and they said, you know, we'd really love to do a TED TV series. It, 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 I, I, I'll be honest, it was not my idea, but I, I was intrigued and I said, are we at the point where you guys would spend the money to do, I mean, this is not, it's a CGI bear. It's not cheap. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, we want to, we want to do something with this. And I said, all right, you know, if, if, if you want to do this right, then I'll do it. And, and to their credit, they, they did, they stepped up. They didn't try to, you know, nickel and dime it. And, um, I, I, I kind of, I kind of, it was, it was more interesting to me than, you know, I'd done, I've done the two movies this was something a little different. Nobody's done this degree of CGI on television yet. Um, it's it's a little bit groundbreaking in that regard. Where the main character is CGI to this degree. Um, I, I haven't seen that yet on on you know I've seen a lot of amazing CGI on a lot of great streaming shows, but never something where it's like no, your central character is computer generated and he's in, and he's in every scene. Mm -hmm. um, and it was it was fun. It was like. It, you know, to not have to do all the big set pieces, mm -hmm. like you, you get a car chase, you throw a car through a barn, <laughs> you know, all that stuff, and just kind of do just comedy. But one of the characters is CGI was was really interesting and really fun, and I think is is going to be unlike anything that you know, even even in the TED universe, I think it's sort of unlike anything you've seen. I, it's, I, I, to me, it's a more interesting way to go than doing just another sequel because it's it's because uh, no one has done it for this medium. Where were you? How did you come up with Ted? Like, what state of mind were you in? I was um, I was working for Hanna-Barbera, or Cartoon Network, I guess it was at that time, and uh, they were owned by Turner, yeah. and Turner merged with Time Warner, and there was a real chaotic point where no one knew what to do with any of the artists and writers, and so they were all just kind of paying us to just sit around like, we don't want to lose our talent pool, but we don't know what to do with you. So just pitch one show a week. So uh, so I, you know, like the other artist that I work with was like, just, all right, what do I, I got to come up with an idea to this, this week to show them that I'm working. And one of those ideas was Ted. And in that version, it was like, it was a family. It was like a, a sitcom family. And, and the dad had had the teddy bear since he was a kid. And the teddy bear was now still with them. And there's the same story. It made the wish on the star. The bear had come to life, and and uh, uh, and it was still here, and it hadn't gone away, and that was ruining everyone's, you know, <laughs> ruining the family. And then that kind of fell by the wayside, and and I revisited it with the idea of doing it as a movie, and it was like as a movie, it seems like if it's just one story, maybe it's more of a love story. The guy hasn't gotten married yet; he's still kind of figuring his shit out. Um, and uh, you know, the regional Boston thing seemed like something that was funny because I have my whole family's from that area. Uh, you know, just making this world as real and grounded as possible, except for this talking bear. Um, <laughs> which, uh, and then just, you know, kind of, kind of formed itself from there. Yeah. It's gone on to shape a lot. God, Did I'm, you have a God, bear I'm growing up? Am I always yeah. this boring or am I just tired, man? You're not boring. I'm not no, boring that's fascinating. At all. Did you have a teddy bear growing up? Um, I, I remember at one point, yes, I did have a teddy bear. I think I think it accidentally fell in the toilet at one point, and so I was, it was like, "Small or it just yeah. fell in?" It oh, just, we have a coffee for you. Look at mm. that. Um, I still oh, have wow, my teddy you. bear. You do? Yeah. What's his name? Barry. Barry. I was on my bed and and from my in my childhood home, and I love I still love sleeping with him, but his ear has no fur on it because I like neurotically scratched it all off as a child. That was wow. my little tick. I guess, but yeah, I still have him. Did you have a bear? I did. Cool. I do. I think he's still around. He's at my mom's house somewhere. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Daniel? I had a blanket. It was yellow and white. My brother had a blanket. Was yeah, it, it was always blue. yellow? <laughs> <laughs> was it always white? Okay. 